basically the World Health Organization recently came out and they've now announced that COVID is over while the media and medical bureaucrats still are pushing it. Now, why do you think we're seeing a disconnect between the two? Because they've both been pushing it for years and they've all been pushing the same agenda, but now suddenly they're saying different things. So why would that be? Yeah, no, and, and this has been the, the biggest divergence during this whole process, right? Is um, they all, everyone keeps saying, follow the science. But when you follow the science, it says to do the totally opposite to what they're doing. But I had to laugh, you know, those medical masks um, on the boxes. And, and I noticed towards the end that this, this wording had been taken off was um, um, not to be used for the spread of disease, right? Um, not, not to be used for, um, there, was a, there was three or four things and it was everything that they said that you had to wear one of these masks for, the box actually said that, it, 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 you shouldn't be doing it. So, you know, do you follow the, the science or don't you follow the science? Now, the WHO um, has been a changing beast. They've got rid of some of the, the idiots that were pushing this stuff during COVID because I think what's happening around the world is everyone that pushed COVID is now being protected and hidden, right? So we've seen here in Queensland the governor become the, sorry, the, the chief health minister become the, the, the governor. Uh, we're seeing Ardern resign, Scott Morrison's out. Um, we're seeing, um, there's, there's talk that Macron and, and Trudeau and um, all those others that really pushed all the lefty loony uh, things are, are all being hidden. They're all being taken from office and, and gonna be hidden. Um, you're seeing uh, Fauci and all that sort of stuff um, be hung out to dry and and um, and moved away from. So th there is a fear by the by the elites and the political elites, especially that they overstep the mark and they know they overstep the mark. And that's why you find around the world, in a lot of the places that were heavily hit, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, so to speak, that the inquiries into COVID, right, have been uh, either very, very slow to get off the ground or have basically been um, a, a show of, uh, they've, they've had so much limited scope to deal with anything that, um, that they've been, been a joke. So the, the, the political elites are on the run. They're, they're, they're scared of what's coming. They know what's coming. They can see the, the end of the world. The WHO, I think, is getting ready for whatever the next scare campaign is going to be. Um, and they've, they've already put out several things about several other diseases and all that sort of stuff. The media and the, the medical bureaucrats are holding on to it because they know if they sort of drop it, um, the masses that haven't um, given up on the COVID bullshit are going to see right through them and then destroy them, you know, by readership. So um, we're already seeing the likes of CNN and MSNBC in the US, um, the ABC here, Channel 10 uh, here, uh, the BBC in the UK, ITV4 in the UK, really lose their their viewership because they're one pushing it uh, and two are seen to be so left wing and out of touch now um, that a lot of people are just turning off but they're not picking up um, other TV channels like for instance they're not going from 7 to 9 uh, or 10 to 7 they're going from and this is worse they're going from traditional TV to social media so they're getting fed more bullshit there. Um, so where they go after social media is, is, is beyond anyone's uh, guess. But we will see um, some, some interesting divergence between the political elite that are on the run, but the military and bureaucratic elite that want to see this go on and on and on forever because it keeps their power. But you know, you've got to remember political elites have power regardless of what they do, uh, but those in the medical fraternity 
um, and the 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 media and all that get power by fear and and um, and holding on to these type of type of laws. So you think the WHO are getting ready to prepare for their next uh, campaign? One hundred percent. Yeah, they they prepare for a scare campaign every second day. Um, I, I definitely think they're getting ready for one. They're re, they're reshuffling the deck. What it's going to be at this stage, I don't know. I can't see it being another pandemic, um, but what I could see it being is something linked to climate change. Um, you know, something linked there. Uh, but but what that is at this stage, not sure yet. Mm. Yeah, that would be interesting because it's a interesting situation because then when you talk to doctors and people in the actual space about COVID, they say, if, if anything, there's been more COVID than the actual pandemic, but then all these cases just going unreported. So um, there's a huge... Well, 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 well 100%. Um, um, you know, yeah, hundred percent. So the the big the big thing is is that um, um, they um, oh shit, my brain's gone all mushy. Um, that that um, they are just trying to hang on for dear life. Uh, I suppose is 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 the is the key point. So. Mm. 